Hi, this is Eric from Tucson, Arizona. It's been a while since I posted a video, so I thought I would try and do something on firearm safety education. Much like the issue of abortion, which the pro-choice side prefers to educate and doesn't want banned, I think that's a good tactic to take when it comes to firearms. That maybe, through education, rather than throwing insults at each other, we can help both sides come to a common understanding. Now the first thing we need to discuss is the four rules of firearm safety. If you follow these four rules, you will never have a negligent discharge. It's simply impossible. What are they? Simple. The first rule is treat every firearm like it's loaded. It doesn't matter if you know it's not. You need to be safe. The second rule, even if you've cleared the, the firearm, is make sure you keep the barrel pointed in a safe direction. Never allow it to point to anything that you're not willing to damage or possibly destroy. It's just bad manners. Third, know your target and what's behind it. And fourth, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. This is a personal irritation of mine when you see Hollywood stars keeping their finger on the trigger while they pose and look cool in all the posters and the movies. It's an accident waiting to happen and it's being perpetuated by our media. Now, I'd like to show you my personal sidearm because some people think it looks scary. The condition it requires being carried in has the hammer back, cocked, and that makes a lot of people nervous. I would like to show you the three independent safeties on this and try to ease your concerns and make you realize what a safe design it is. This firearm is based off of the Colt 1911. It's a John Browning design, 97 years old. And if you've watched my past videos, you'll know I have quite an affinity for John Browning designs. Now, the three safeties are very simple. You have the thumb safety right here. I'm getting ahead of myself. The external controls. You have the thumb safety right here. You have the magazine release, and you have the slide stop. The slide stop is what locks the slide back under forces of recoil, but we're not really going to cover that. First, the magazine. You have to press this button to release it and withdraw the ammunition. Now, unfortunately with this design pistol, you have to take the gun off of safety to get the ammunition out, the one round that's in the chamber. There are newer designs which allow you to keep the gun on safe and extract the ammo, but they're very rare right now. I'd like to see them become more prevalent in the future. Anyway, I'm going to take the safety off, pull the slide back, and there's the round of ammunition. Now, as you can see, this firearm is completely safe and empty. Now that we've cleared the firearm, I'm going to let the slide forward to demonstrate the independent safeties. The first is the thumb safety. This one is an ambidextrous model, so you can see you can activate it with your left or right hand. What this safety does is completely locks the firearm. It locks the hammer, so that can't be brought forward. As I mentioned, it locks the slide, the action can't happen, it also locks the trigger. Nothing's going to happen with that safety engaged. The next safety is right here. It's the grip safety. Even with the, even with the thumb safety off, without that grip safety engaged, the trigger is completely locked. It's a safe design. The next one I would like to show you is also connected to the grip safety although different manufacturers have different ways of engaging this. If you see that small pin next to the large pin right in there, that's a firing pin block. There's a physical linkage inside this gun that operates a shaft. That shaft has to come up and remove a small wall so that the firing pin can contact the ammunition. Why is this important? Well, it means that under momentum, if you were to throw this against a wall or into a gravel pit or hit it with a sledgehammer, nothing you can do can cause inertia enough for the firing pin to come contact the ammunition. It simply can't build up the speed because it's completely physically removed. This one operates off of the grip safety, which is lightweight and heavily sprung. Inertia cannot overcome it. And even if it did, you've got the other safeties. So this is a remarkably safe design, and through proper handling, will never have a negligent discharge. 
Now, some people, pardon me, say that there's a fourth safety, and they say that's right here. I say that's foolish and going to get you in trouble with people who are already afraid of you anyway. Anyone who says that is an idiot. Your fourth safety is right here. You have to think. You have to be a responsible citizen. See, we're not the gun-crazed wackos that you see in the media and on TV shows. We're everyday citizens who simply feel the right to self-defense should be our right, as with our family. I want my family to be able to protect themselves. Now, I'm a conservative libertarian. I go to church every day, and I'm straight. I'm a white guy, so that further hurts my cause here when I tell you that I don't agree with the homosexual community. However, I do agree that armed gays don't get bashed, and I'm a full supporter of the Pink Pistol organization. I also think that all women have the right to self-defense against sickos and rapists and people who would assault them. It's not about guns. It's about freedom and the ability to defend yourself. And hopefully, I've reasoned this argument out well enough to ease some of your fears. I hope you guys all take care and be safe.